Aloha everybody. Welcome in to the beginner's driving coaching session. And when we talk about driving, we're talking about using the driver. This is the club in your bag. It's the big headed one. Um, and it, it has a flat front. It has the longest shaft. This is the longest club in your bag. It's the lightest club in your bag and it's meant to make the ball go very far. Back in the early, early days of golf, they called it the play club because it was the club that you used to initiate play. It was the first club you would use when you started a hole of golf or a round of golf. Today, they've gotten big. They're up to 460 cc's and that's to give you forgiveness so that if you hit the ball off the toe or the heel or down here or here, it's still gonna go out there a good piece and give you a chance at making par. So let's talk about the driver and how it's different than one of the other tools in your bag. And I've got seven iron here because it just seems like every beginner uh, gets handed a seven iron and told here, learn to hit this first. So as we look at the difference between these two clubs, if we set them in the same place from a grip standpoint, the driver is much longer than the seven iron and it has a different lie angle. So when the driver sets on the ground, it sits like that. The seven iron sits obviously much more upright. So that's the, a big difference. And that's gonna make a difference from how they're swung. So here's the seven iron as it swings through in a circle. Here's the driver when it swings through in a circle. So they, they move on a, a little bit separate plane and you definitely have to work that out as you learn how to hit them. Let's talk about the very basics and we've got other videos, but let's talk about alignment. So if we have a target out here on the range and let's say we put this yellow stick right at that target and we put here parallel with it for our feet and we put one over here to represent ball in our stance is kind of a perfect turn alignment. The driver gets teed up. One of the big questions I have is how do you tee up a golf ball from beginners? So you're going to put the tee between your, your index finger and your middle finger. You put the ball against the tee and your thumb on the ball and you push it in there almost like a hand. I like to see the ball up high. When I learned, they said half the ball above the top of the face, but what we found is the higher the tee, the easier it is to strike the ball on the upswing. And that's what we're trying to do with driver. We're not actually trying to hit down on a driver. We're trying to actually swing and have the low point of the swing be back here and swing up on so we've got our alignment, feet and the ball. Well, we want the club so that the ball is in the very middle of this club face. So the ball would be right here. And a lot of golf clubs have logos or markings where that middle is. Mine's right there. This is the Epic Max LS from Callaway, a great driver. And when I set up I point that club face there. I point my feet parallel, not at the target line. My shoulders are parallel and I put my hands on there. Now, if you don't know how to grip the club, go back and watch the video on taking the grip. Now you notice I've got the ball and see the stick off my lead heel. I think that's a good place to start. Now, I don't like to think about it as far as my feet, but I think that's easier for folks who are beginners. So off your lead heel is where you want the golf ball to be within your stance. <clears throat> if you want to think about it in relation to your upper body, I like it off of or as far forward as outside your shoulder. It could be even as forward as that if you like. But I think there's good. Now the goal with the driver is to stand very upright, relax through your upper so your, your butt's under, 
Your upper spine's down. And that gives it a feeling where your hands are hanging versus engaged. We want to feel like they're Then, what initiates the takeaway is, we're going to pull the handle back, the grip of the club, with our hands to our left leg. That's the takeaway. Notice my chest turns with that, my shoulders turn a little bit to allow that. Then once I get to there, I can start to rotate my shoulders and hips and take the club up to the top. If I did that in a different way, I could go and achieve the same position. Then on the way down, the hips turn, the shoulders turn, the club falls down this way, not this way. And as I uncork my body, and I'm through to the finish. So that's the rotational aspect of golf, okay? The golf swing in its simplest form is turn the shoulders back past the ball, turn them through. And if we imagine we had big spikes coming out of both shoulders, the spike over here or the club head would at the top of the backswing point behind the golf ball and at the at impact it would point behind the golf ball in the same spot and then when the ball's gone it would point past the golf ball very rotational swing and that is going to allow you for a lot of speed and power. So let's what am I doing right here? Well I'm aiming. I come back on the target line, the yellow line. I pick out my spot where I want it to go. I'm gonna take my stance with the ball forward turn back to the top and hit. And that's gone marvelously. Let's do that again. Your tee is going to go flying, pick it up, reuse it, grab a ball, put it the finger, thumb underneath, <clears throat> pop it into the ground. Come here, Target, club behind the ball, and one thing I would add is, I'm not, not, I'm not at straight up and down with my sternum. I have some tilt into my trail side. That allows me to swing up, and have the low point be back here. It moves the low point behind the ball, and a good check mark is, have your lead ear on the back of the golf ball. Let's try another. Come back. Pick your target, put the club behind the ball, feet aligned, one piece to here, and through it. Love that one. And so maybe this is a little bit more rotational than you first thought. Maybe you had a little bit more sway, but the speed comes from rotating your hips and shoulders, rotating them through. It's a lot like skipping a rock. It's a lot like throwing a ball. And so that motion is just down here now. 
So if we were to make it to feel like throwing a ball or skipping a stone, we'd set up, oop, moved it back a little bit, get the club behind the ball, our arms hanging down, and we do a little kind of throw of the ball or skip of the rock, right? Here's a rehearsal of that. Kind of a shorter swing. This might give you the feel. And those shots are all really good to get a feel of something you already know how to do. And guess what? It can be the same. It doesn't have to be that different from your throwing motion. Yeah, your arm comes in up here and this comes in down here, but it's similar. So we tee it up. Come back here, pick our target. Hasn't changed because we got the sticks. Put the club behind the ball. Look, one piece to here. Turn it up to the top, turn through it. Awesome. Last one. Tee it up. Pick our target. Put the club behind the ball and go. It's really fun. Let's talk about a couple other aspects of driving that you need to help you. We want to stand tall. Feet should be sho outside shoulder width apart, but underneath us. Relax your thoracic spine, arms can hang down, and then put the driver in your hands. Now, move the driver forward in your stance and tilt. And you're gonna get that exact setup. So we stand, relax, arms hang down, tilt so our ear would be behind the ball, and that's a great setup for driver. Okay, let's simplify it down into a few steps. Tee it up, come back, pick a target, grip, put the club behind the ball, feet together, Move this stick a little bit. Feet together, club behind the ball. Take a little step with your front foot, big step with your back foot. Touch your trail knee to get your head back. Put your hand back on and go. Awesome. Let's do it again. Tee it up, step one. Step two, pick the target. Step three, put the club behind the ball and take your grip. Step four, feet together. Step five, little step with your front foot, big step with your back foot. Step six, touch. Step seven, go. Now let's combine some of those steps. Tee it up, that doesn't need a step. We're gonna do that anyway. Step one, aim. I wanna go there, tell your mind that. Step two, put the club behind the ball. Step three, set your feet. Step four, touch and go. fun. 
This is the beginner's driving coaching session. Hope you've enjoyed it. There'll be more to come. Mahalo.